Today, the UNC System Board of Governors met for the first time since the release of the findings in the private investigation of former ECU interim chancellor Dan Gerlach. The report found no evidence of inappropriate contact with students and that emailed allegations of misconduct were largely false. Nottinger Science Madison Forsey has been keeping a close eye on this story since the very beginning. Madison, you attended today's meeting. What are you hearing from the Board of Governors? Yeah, the Board of, Governor mem Board of Governors members this morning were largely quiet about the investigation into Gerlach and the controversy surrounding one of their own members, Tom Fetzer. Fetzer hired his own investigator to look into Gerlach's actions on the night of September 25th. We're going to put these other issues in our rearview mirror and we're not going to discuss them further. Limited commentary coming from the chairman of the Board of Governors over fallout from the investigation into former ECU interim chancellor Dan Gerlach. It was revealed several weeks ago that Board of Governors member Tom Fetzer enlisted the help of investigator Peter Romery to look into Gerlach's actions on September 25th. Fetzer denied any connection to Romery at first, but then acknowledged hiring Romery to reporters at a Charlotte TV station. Since Fetzer initiated his own investigation outside of the BOG, Chairman of the Board Randy Ramsey told reporters on Thursday the board should consider consequences for Fetzer. Today, Chairman Ramsey was quiet on the matter. But I've said all I'm going to say on that subject. I don't have anything else to talk about. We put that behind us and we're not going to we're not going to keep talking about it. Ramsey stating that he's looking forward to getting back to talking about all the good things the UNC system has to offer. And we're also excited about the uh, chance research that is about to take place in East Carolina, and we have utmost confidence that East Carolina will remain one of our flagships. There's no word on what those consequences for Fetzer might look like, but the official search for ECU's next chancellor will begin in December. For now, in the newsroom, Madison Forsey, 9 on your side.